starting my um, my glue book oh gosh I should probably oil my chair but now I don't see the oil oh, well okay well you'll just have to bear with my squeaky chair like you always do <laughs> um, so I'm going to use the composition book this is a, a new one and it's got lots and lots of pages because um, just because I, I'm doing a lot of gluing lately <laughs> and I have a lot of stuff uh, well I don't have a lot of stuff yet but I'm going to have a lot of stuff because I'm going to be looking for stuff so first thing I decided first of all I was going to cover it up with fabric I shared it with a bunch of people and for some reason the only thing left right now it's it's all stitched and it makes a nice tablecloth for a square table which I think I want to use it for my grandson's party so <laughs> so I'm not going to cut it up this year I may cut it up later or I may just give it to my daughter they are real big Halloween people so anyway so I, I got I abandoned that idea and um, oh goodness I've got so much stuff out here um, so what I decided to do is go ahead and use the black and orange and we'll start with that and we'll just get a little cover going here and I need to cut that and I'd like to make it straight I probably I, you know what I think what I'll do is I will glue it on then cut or swipe around so somewhere under all this stuff i i dragged out a bag that had uh, halloween stuff in it and that's all i had from last year is just one bag of stuff so i'm going to be looking online for more stuff or i might if I get um, my masks, I might just go to the bins. Okay, how's that? Does that look Halloween-y already? Now, I do have a hand, so I'm going to cut that hand out. So I'm just going to speed this up for a few minutes while I cut out this hand just to help you out. Oh, that's barely going to fit on there, but I might do it like that. Um, so I'm not really much into the creepy, creepy Halloween stuff. I'll tell you right up front. I will put some creepy, creepy stuff in there because if creepy, creepy stuff comes my way, I'm going to use it. That's just uh, a given. So, uh, but mostly I like um, just the fun, the, the fun, uh, playful kids Halloween like I had when I was a kid and that's the kind of Halloween I want there Ooh. that's kind of creepy creepy to start off with but that was kind of the fun Halloween stuff it's not the um, crime things or the um, uh, this is kind of the Wicked Witch of the West <laughs> kind of a kind of a thing so, um, so I don't find that too awful, awful creepy. Now, I will have to put something on there, and I don't have anything just yet. But I could do the other side. And see, yeah, it is going to face the other way. But it's facing towards the opening of the book. So I think I'll just go ahead and do that. I will do that. Okay, let me see. 
do I have? No. Ooh. I think I should hop out of here. <laughs> um, okay, well, it might have to have that frog on it. Because that's the only orange one that I have. So, yeah, it's been a while since I've worked on camera. And um, you may get the edited, speeded up version. Oh, I will probably want to be down here. You know what? I'll just do a frog on the back. And then it doesn't have to be in the same spot. Goodness, how hard was that? Okay. There. Well, we aren't going to get too too fussy. This is going to be just a glue book. <clears throat> this isn't going to be the journal that I take a little more care with. This is just going to be the glue book. And maybe that should be the first page as I as I open it up. It's the other hand. Um Just for fun. And I'm going to make it lower anyway. So what do I want to put on the paper? I want to put um, purple. Purple, orange, and green. We'll just, do we want to start off with purple? Do I want to start off with more paper? I think I want to start off with more paper. I've got this great little book here. Um, and I'm going to kind of keep it a little more true to a glue book rather than... Because I'm going to do a journal where I'll use a lot of other things. But I will use stickers. I love stickers. What are we going to start off with? Oh, I know. I've got a Halloween book. So, I didn't see that when I looked through my stuff. Make sure that's nice and even. We'll take that off. And we'll take the Woman's Day part off. there. I can put something over that. No, I want that over here. One of the things about my glue books um, is I don't really think much ahead. I don't plan ahead on them. Uh, I just start gluing and then I just kind of fit things together as they fit. I'm going to ask you in the comments for you to put down what your favorite kind of Halloween candy is and I want you to tell me if you're going to wait for Halloween to buy it. Oh, I just love that. Is that just a great witch? I wonder if you can even see that. Am I still in the frame over there? <sighs> Barely. Oh my gosh. Barely in the frame. Okay. Oh, I can't wait. I want to start harvesting this magazine. 
Okay, this is a sticker doodle book. And I'm going to do some sticker doodles, but mostly I want to cut out stuff. I just want to cut out neat stuff like that. And harvest stuff like that. Um, but I don't want... Oh, this is cool. This page might be cool. Okay. Probably two. Got a line to guide me. So I'm going to wing it and just cut. Glue, 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 my favorite thing to do. Oh, I could make a song out of that, couldn't I? Now, I don't know. Uh, the glue stick, It to me, it comes, comes apart a little bit when it's still fresh. But I have put things on here before and absolutely cannot get them off. So, I pretty much trust my glue stick. I've had books that I've worked on now for four years. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, I want that to be, yes. Cover a book out of orange. Oh no. No, I want some orange. There we go. Yes, we want some orange so that we don't lose stuff at the bottom. Okay, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And I will put some washi tape down there because I like to uh, protect that end anyway. Okay, and there I am already. Now, I'm not going to put anything there from this style of paper. I'm going to find something from the magazine to cover that up. And maybe something I can find there. So let's harvest a magazine and see what we have. Well, I like those shoes, not for Halloween, but I'm going to get those shoes. Ooh, doesn't she look mean? Um, yeah, she could be kind of evil. I might, I might take her. And, you know, this is really too bad. These are all thin papers. Um, now those are fun, fun little uh, people. Fun little Halloween treats. Um, don't really see anything. Oh, I, I like the, the candy. I'll have to cut out the candy. Oh, and I've got another one. Yay! I can maybe put that back farther back in the book. Oh, or use that side. Oh, how cute is that? I should probably leave things in the book until I'm ready to use them. Now, I wonder if those would cover. Okay. That might be cute. I hate to lose the door, but I'm definitely wanting those. Now, ooh, just barely. 
that covers that. I like that. I'm going to glue that there. And it's too bad it's all cut a little crooked and wobbly, but there's fixes for that. Definitely fixes for that. Now, I have some extra paper I'm going to glue on. I don't keep gluing in my... figure out how to adjust that. Okay, there we go. I'm happy with that and I'm going to put that on this side as well. Although I probably should be using wider tape. I'm not going to glue it down in case I want to change it to wider tape. And I uh, left my desk in a big mess. Okay, now there's, there is my first page started. And that can stay, but I think I might like something to cover that. So let's continue on with the magazine. And see if there's like a slogan that's long enough to cover that. Okay, we'll keep those. This just got real. That might work. Okay. Let's see what we have. Does it work? It does, but I don't like losing so much of the witch's hat. So let's keep on. That is a great um, phrase. It's nice, especially for the beginning of the book. But I don't like losing so much of her hat. Kind of takes away from her, I think. Okay. Ooh, some really fun things in here. <laughs> I like that counts. So, ooh, fun finds. That probably, or just fun. No, finds probably would cover it, but not fun. Okay, let's keep going. I'm looking for like a phrase. Ooh, man, those shoes are neat.
She's 43 and she must be 73. That's a cute picture. Okay. Harvest and thin glue is basically the rule. <laughs> but I didn't know I had this book. So not too much here, not too much here. Gosh, oh, you know what? I may have torn out some of the best pages, but it's not a lot of Halloween stuff with that cover, is it? will bark for booze. <laughs> well, I was pretty sure I was going to find a little sign. But no. No. I could make that into an, a get real. That would be perfect. Okay. Well, I will have to. Um, I can still put this down here. This just got real. Because I like that. <laughs> you open the book, and now it's real. Okay, I like that. I like that really well. I'm really happy with that. Oh. And... How is it that I am so in the mood already? And it's so early. Do you know I normally don't decorate or do anything until October 1st? And I think I've mentioned that in earlier videos. There. Oh, I'm very happy with that. I uh, maybe like use duct tape to make shapely pool noodle legs. Aha! Uh -huh. So that's a trick for you guys if you want to decorate that way. Those are pool noodles and with just duct tape around it. Coming out of a, a, a bushel basket of apples and probably the ladies shoes because I mean, like, I guess she owns witch's shoes, but. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. So I will cut this off for now. And uh, that should be enough. Um, we've got a page in here and um, uh, this is, this has been, should I do a double spread? Uh, no, I'll just go ahead. Uh, that way it'll give me something to do later. Okay, well, I came up with page two pretty quickly. <laughs> because I didn't put anything away. And so I'm going to do this. is not sliding. And I think I want to put this down first anyway because it's going to go underneath.
want to burnish that really well so that it sticks on the curve. Now, this is next. Then, this is going to be a test. I glued a window cling once before and it did fine. So, I think you have to use this kind of glue so it doesn't leave any lines or streaks. So, we'll do that so far. And we'll put the matching washi on this side, which will tie it all in. I know it's a glue book, it doesn't have to tie in. to see through and it didn't cover up the white anyway so so right now we're still left with that oh I know what I could do okay I like that so far so once I got to this point I thought I was done and I turned off the camera but then I kept going and I kept working and I ended up doing these two pages. Had a lot of fun with that. Um, using up the magazine pieces that I uh, had and some of the, uh, the book. And then I went ahead and did this page and this actually has a little game to go in that trick-or-treat bag and actually I should um, actually now that I think about it I should age that a little bit put a little back on it so it didn't look too out of place and I went ahead and I did use her <laughs> definitely was spooky. I can see I need to trim this up a little bit. Um, just kind of just playing and um, I dug around a little bit more and I did this and I uh, kind of like that page. That was a lot of fun to do. Um, I especially like my little um, stickers of children in costumes there in between the scary pumpkins the ghostly pumpkins 
and I kept going and I did this page and so that's all I did but I'm trying to figure out a way that I can include this I might I'm thinking um, what I need to do I really don't want to take it apart I like the concept of the pocket letter that's Halloween I like all of the stuff in it this is actually the front And I love that. So somehow I have got to um, think of a good way to incorporate that. My first thought was to make it a pocket. Oh, I know. I'll probably make it a pocket. I might have to lose that. I will make it a pocket. Yeah, that goes like that. I'll make it a pocket where it just goes in like that. Because it's a Halloween book and it can it can stand something that's that thick. So that that's what I'll do. And then I can pull it out and enjoy it as a pocket letter. So yeah. And that's where I'm at. And since then, I have found some other things, so I am almost ready. This might, um, this might just get pinned on, or oh, probably get pinned on the uh, on the pocket. But yeah, we'll we'll do that, and um, I will see you next time. Continuing on, don't just take this one as the final word on what I'm doing. This this. Halloween. Um, continuing on with my glue book next video. Not next video, but in a future video. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>